Did you know that many common goals can be classified as projects? Examples could be starting a new side hustle, renovating your kitchen, launching a new product, running a marathon. They all have a start and end date and many interrelated tasks that must be completed in order to create a win. So how can you maximize your chances of crushing your project goal? There's two things. First, see yourself as a project manager. It's a simple, small mind shift change, but it'll really help you succeed. Secondly, get your hands on a few project management tools that will help you stay organized, manage all those moving pieces, and meet your goal on time. Now these tools can be very simple, and you may have them lying around your office already. So if you wanna think bigger, achieve your goals, and enjoy the process, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel, hit the bell icon so you get notifications whenever we come out with a new video. Hi, my name's Lucas, I work at Best Self Co, and I'm here today to show you five very simple project management tools that will help you stay organized and crush your project goals. So let's dive in. The first tool is very simple, it's a pad of paper and pen. This might sound really simple, but it's super important that you grab a piece of paper and pen and brain dump everything that you might need for your project. So when you're brain dumping, just get it all out. Even the dumb ideas, even the things that seem ridiculous, put it on the piece of paper. You never know what little nuggets can come from those crazy ideas. During your brain dump, focus your thoughts on six areas. Tasks that need to be completed for the project, ideas you have, resources you'll need, people you'll need to contact, questions you need to answer, and problems to solve and hurdles to overcome. So after a brain dump, that is when you start to organize all the tasks that need to be done. And that is actually why we created the Project Action Pad. Oftentimes, projects can be overwhelming just because of how much you have to think about all the moving parts. That's why we created the Project Action Pad, to create an external brain so that you can spend time at the beginning of your project organizing everything that needs to be done, outlining it, seeing it all in front of you on that Project Action Pad, now, instead of using your mental energy on thinking what's five steps ahead, the Project Action Pad has that already. You just need to worry about what's ahead of you right now, the one thing that you need to accomplish, the one hurdle you need to jump, the one person you need to connect to, instead of wasting all your energy trying to juggle all these balls. The next super simple but effective tool for project management is having a unified filing system, like Google Drive and Dropbox, Having a unified filing system will make your life so much easier. This is especially true if you have a project with multiple people in it. Uh, there's nothing worse than trying to find something and being so frustrated because everyone's naming everything different. There's like these random folders everywhere. You're spending all your time trying to search for things instead of working. For me, I like Google Drive. Uh, one, it's free, that's nice. And also, I like that multiple people can be collaborating on a document at the same time. Also, I like the forums where we can create uh, unified outputs. But here's some tools to help you with organizing your system. You wanna create a filing structure that is simple. You don't need this elaborate, multi-tiered folder system. You wanna make it to where if you hired someone new to the team, they could easily pick up on where things go, how they're named. Speaking of how it's named, it's important that you're making the naming convention something that makes sense, that's logical. I like having the date with the year, month, and day, just to organize it in terms of when something's been added, updated, uh, etc. Also use the sharing functionality to be able to collaborate with people inside and outside of the company. Additionally, manage the permissions so that people that should have access have access, people that shouldn't have access to certain things don't. And lastly, it's always good just to do a little tidying up from time to time to make sure that uh, people are, are naming things correctly, the folders are being used like they should, permissions are correct. It's best to have a system that is uniform so that everyone can find what they need to find, where they need to find it, and you're not spending all this time and energy finding files. So the next simple but effective project management tool is a calendar. For us, we have a wall calendar that we like to use. A calendar is simple but effective to help fend off procrastination. Uh, you can see in one view what needs to be done when. So now that you have all the tasks lined out, you can map out on your calendar what needs to be done at what time. Some tasks might overlap, 
Some might have hard deadlines, others might have a range in which they need to be completed before the next task can be done. It's also important on the calendar to put other things that are unrelated to the project. So if you have a calendar that's just for the project, you might forget that you have a vacation scheduled for this time or there's a holiday on this day. So you want to have it so that the calendar includes non-project based things. And lastly, it helps visualize the countdown. So if you want to finish a project in 30 days, you can visually see the time ticking away and this helps motivate you in terms of not procrastinating, not pushing things off. You can see the time that is remaining getting smaller and smaller and that can help motivate you to keep pushing forward. The fifth and final simple but effective project management tool is having some kind of communication system. That could be Slack, Trello, Quip, there's a bunch of things out there. At Best Self, we use Slack. Uh, we communicate mostly using GIFs and memes now. It's super important that you use a, a uniform communication system. It helps cut down miscommunication. It helps uh, communicate to a lot of people all at once. It also helps with flagging potential issues with the project because you have more people involved in the conversation. Slack also has a free version, which again is awesome. You can have both group and direct messages. You can have private channels, group channels. It's also very scalable if your business grows. And I know for me, uh, it's also good for keeping um, a log of the communication. So say I step out for a few hours and there's a bunch of people talking on a group chat, I can always come back and, and scroll to the top of the conversation and follow the thread so that I'm up to speed on what's going on. And in terms of project management, uh, you can also create channels specifically for your project so that everyone that needs to know about something is in the know, uh, they're a part of the discussion, and you can f share files that way and everything. So a little insider tip is to create a channel specifically for your project. When your goal has multiple moving parts, you'll get better results if you tackle it with a project management mentality. This simply means taking in the big picture, staying ahead of the game so you don't get caught up in overwhelm, decision fatigue, and you don't drop the ball when the project's rolling. That is the beauty of simple tools. They can help you stay organized without adding too much complexity. And so empower yourself with the Project Action Pad. This tool is perfect for tracking your progress of a project. If you'd like to hear more about external brains, check out these videos on the Project Action Pad and the Weekly Action Pad. Thanks for watching, and we're excited to hear what projects you want to accomplish with these five simple project management tools. See ya.